Governor David Ige today announced changes to the state's COVID-19 rules. KITV4's Leah Kamana tells us what restrictions are out and what still remains. As each county has announced the end of its COVID-19 mandates over the last few days, many wondering what will happen with the rules imposed by the state. Today, Governor Ige addressing those questions. Today, I am announcing that the Safe Travels Hawaii program will end when the current emergency proclamation ends on March 25th. Here's what that means. As of 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, March 26th, travelers from domestic locations will no longer need to show proof of vaccination or a negative test. There will be no mandatory quarantine period. Travelers won't have to provide personal and trip information. And pre-travel and post-arrival screenings will end. It is important to remember that we're talking about domestic travel only. This does not apply to international travelers, which have different requirements set by the federal government. Another change coming is for those who work, visit, and do business at state and county facilities. Starting March 26th, employees and visitors will no longer need to provide vaccination status or a negative test. But perhaps the biggest question on people's minds... Many have asked me personally about the statewide indoor mask requirement. At this point in time, we are continuing the indoor mask mandate and we will make an, uh, a public announcement uh, at the appropriate time for changes. When asked what the rationale behind that decision is, considering Hawaii is the only state in the country with an indoor mask mandate. The state of Hawaii is the only uh, statewide public school system, and so we are uh, working uh, with the public schools about um, mask requirements and about uh, COVID uh, protocols in the public schools. Uh, we're the only state that runs the jails, and we run all the jail facilities um, across the state, and we're the only um, state that um, manages all of the um, hospitals uh, in the counties as well. So uh, our situation in Hawaii is uh, more complex than other areas, and certainly we'll be looking at all of these issues as we make decisions about mask requirements. Ige says he is working with the Department of Health to make the final determination on the mask mandate. Up to this point, the DOH has followed CDC guidance as it relates to the pandemic, but this time around, that remains to be seen. In Honolulu, Leah Kamanaw, KITV4 Island News.